Hey everybody, been a long day so far, but uh, I got a bunch of stuff here, but not, not a whole lot of it any good. Um, big brass stirrup piece from a colonial spot. Um, I think that's what that is. Strange design on that. Uh, lots of junk there. Pipe stems, tomback, uh, some flat buttons, lots of lead, just, just a metric ton of lead. Then uh, another spot here, just a bunch of brass, ginger beer bottle, some decorative stuff, uh, more ginger beer. Um, then uh, back here are some of the keepers, flat button, uh, pipe stem, old clay pipe stem. I got a pair of buffalo nickels. There's the buffalo girls, buffalo twins, hooray. Um, some marbles, two N and W railroad buttons, <laughs> um, and then a Colt 44. So we're gonna keep at it, see what we get. Keep digging. Hey, Buckle Boy here, and I just dug an eagle button. I saw a two-piece button coming out of a clod. It was smaller. I thought that's got to be an eagle. That's not gonna be a pelican. And I was right. Nice eagle button. It's got the shank on it still. So. Real pleased to have that. Woohoo! Keep digging! Here's Shangalang's find. This is a canteen spout. Woohoo! More Civil War today. We're getting Civil War, so this is yeah. likely what it is. Uh, Keep digging. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig them nice. up. Nice. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I just walked up on this. That is a strap box uh, from a spur. And I don't know whether it's complete or not. I'm hoping it is, but you know, it's not good odds. So I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna see. Oh, nope, that's it. That's all there is. It's a shame. All right, keep digging. I've dug, dug lots of pack rivets before. You know, pack studs, pack rivets, but uh, I've never found a pack rivet before. But that's a pack rivet. Rivet. Ribbit. Hey, ribbit. <laughs> hey, ribbit. That's a pack ribbit. It's a pack toad. <laughs> Keep digging. This is Buckle Boy, and we've been out here for a little while, and Shangalang uh, dug a nice, eyeballed a nice bottle, a uh, little hinge mold bottle, uh, turn of the century cobalt, a little slick bottle. And uh, I found a broken piece of Hostetter Bitters bottle, brown. Um, I just dug this. It's bigger than a large scent. I don't know. I hope that's a hard times token or something. God, wouldn't that be cool? That's just, it just looks like a coin. Um, it's so regularly shaped. It almost looks like it's got a rim. It's very worn. I don't know. I learned my lesson with these things after digging that uh, Walker and Walton token that I need to take a video or a picture or something or both because sometimes things aren't what they look to be. But I can't place the size of that um, the only thing I've seen is that size is uh, my wife's uh, uh, big French copper um, King Louis copper that she dug uh, two years ago anyhow keep digging this is buckle boy back and uh, I've still got this coin I rubbed the edge and uh, number one it looks like a reeded or a, some sort of a design and uh, I think um, it's silver plated. I don't think it's silver solid. It might be debased silver, but I bet this is a counterfeit eight reels. I mean, it could be a counterfeit seated dollar or something. Um, I think in this site, it would probably be mid-century or earlier, mid-1800s or early. I don't think it'd be like a Morgan or something. But uh, I, bet, I bet that's a counterfeit eight reels. That would be really cool because I've never dug one ever. And I bet it would be a cap and raise. It'd probably be a late one. Anyhow, keep digging. Well, my friends have always been telling me to for a long time now. And uh, some of them will be very glad to know that I finally found Jesus. Here he is. It's a pretty cool find. Uh, probably pretty old, actually. 
Uh, bottom of the cross is broken, unfortunately, but the rest of it's there. All right, keep digging. A boy here. Hey, uh, I'm trying to find daughter's bricks, but I was lucky enough to find the son's bricks. Oh, cool. That's nice. It's, uh, it's, it was their son's brick. Yeah. But uh, yeah, maybe, I like maybe before bricks. the day is over, we'll find the daughter's brick. Yeah, cool. So we at least have so a matching pair. Yeah, we're going to keep looking. Yeah, there we but, go. Uh, keep looking. Keep yep. digging. Digging. This is Shangalang's fine. He just, oh crap, let me get my macro on here. Here we go. Shangalang's fine. Just got back from breakfast. Got back from brunch. <laughs> Brunches. And uh, he just dug him a uh, seeded dime, looks like. So we're going to check out the date on that and uh, get back with you. Woo! Silver, silver, silver. That's what we want. This is Buckle Boy here, and this is a, this is a crier. Um, this bottle. Um, this was a uh, old hickory celebrated stomach bitters from New Orleans. There's uh, Shang Lang's coil, but that's a shame. Those are pretty scarce bottles. Um, but yep, it's all busted up, just laying in the cane field. Oh well. You gonna keep the pieces? Nope. No? All right, keep this. I got a couple iron finds. Well, he got an iron find and I got an iron find. I uh, tried to download a file to my finds pouch, but it was too big of a file. So uh, <laughs> it wouldn't fit. That's a big file. I'm getting my education while I'm out here. Yeah, there's too many KB. I'm Look, hooked on phonics. He's hooked on phonics. That's yeah, nice. Uh, That's real nice. It's a uh, double hooked on phonics. I'm hooked on digging now. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Shangalang's dig here. He's got him a, a decorative um, silver lid from something. Is it shining? Can you see the yeah, flowers? Yeah, can see the flares. It's nice. Um, they still smell like roses after they, all they, these they years. Stink. They stink good. Yeah, it smells like mud flowers. Yeah, mud flowers. That's, mud that's flowers. the state flower of Louisiana. <laughs> mud flower. Hey everybody, Buckle Boy here, and I just got one of these. Um, they, I, they think these are um, German uh, swirl marbles that are like 1800s marbles. You see how delicate those lines are there and see it almost looks like a pontial mark on these um, on the end. I think that's what those are. I think they're pretty early. I don't have any hopes of anything being valuable in terms of a marble coming from a plowed field, but um, yeah, that's a that's a nice one. I don't I haven't found too many of those. Maybe two or three, and they were all beat up. So that's a, that's the nicest one I've I've eyeballed. Keep digging. Okay, so I just got a uh, silver nickel. Positive, that's what it is. Close like silver. Yeah, totally. Well, I'm not that excited about that, but it's one more silver total for the year. Keep digging. Hey, Buckle Boy here. I just walked up on a head. Isn't that weird? It's a brass or a copper head. Stan. It's a uh, cast brass. Looks like a helmet on. Alright, keep digging. Okay everybody, you are not gonna believe this. This plug right here in the bottom of this cane row, I just think I just got, I'm all, I'm positive I just got big seated silver. This is a seated quarter. This is the first big seated or big coin of any kind, silver coin, that's come out of this field. And I'm just amazed. Oh, let me get this out of here. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. It's New Orleans Mint right there, plain as day. Oh my God. That is amazing, and look at the detail on that. That is definitely one to walk back to the vehicle. Wow. Oh man, this makes my whole summer. It is hot, hot out here, 95 degrees. Okay, keep digging. Okay, I'm back again. This quarter is an 1856 OEOEO. OEOEO. -E -E That's awesome. Totally happy with that. All right. Wow.
That's the first uh, big silver to come out of here. Fantastic. All right, the rest is land yet. Keep digging. Iron thing, don't 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 don't. You make my coil sing, do 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 do. You make everything. Ninety. Uh, iron thing. Uh, 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 uh. Iron thing. I think I dug you.